While con extensions are defined up to universal mapping property, in general, they are not well behaved. In this video, we discuss two types of con extensions called absolute and pointwise, which have nicer properties. So we fix functors f and g with common domain category a. We recall the following. One, for each b object b, there are canonical projection or forgetful functors, which we denote by pi lower script b from b over f to a and pi upper script b from f over b to a. And two, the functor category of natural transformations from the presheaf b, b, f to e, x, g is equivalent to the category of cones on g, pi, lower script b with vertex x. Recall that this isomorphism takes a natural transformation alpha to alpha bar, where alpha bar on component a, f is defined to be the e morphism alpha at component a evaluated at the b morphism f. And similarly, we have the functor category of natural transformations from the presheaf b, f, b to e, g, x is equivalent to the category of co-cones on g, pi, upper script b with vertex x. We make the following definition. A right con extension of g along f is absolute, respectively pointwise, if and only if each functor h, respectively each representable presheaf, preserves the right con extension. This means that the right con extension of hg along f is the composition of functors h ron f g with natural transformation h epsilon, respectively the right con extension of e x g along f is the composition of functors e x ron f g with natural transformation e x epsilon. The dual for a left con extension follows where we note that we take the opposite of the co-representable on x so that it has domain category e and codomain category as the dual category of set. Diagrammically, we have the absolute con extension and pointwise con extension as given here. Note that by definition, absolute con extensions are pointwise con extensions. And it turns out pointwise right con extensions can be computed as certain limits, and left pointwise con extensions can be computed as certain colimits. We have that the right con extension of g along f is pointwise if and only if ron f g on b object b is the limit of g pi lower script b. For the reverse direction, we have that representables preserve all limits which exist. Therefore, the set e x ron f g b is isomorphic to the limit in set of e x g pi lower script b, which happens to be isomorphic to the right con extension of e x g along f by the hypothesis. Therefore, the right con extension is pointwise. For the forward direction, we have for each x in E and b in category b, the set ex ron f g b is isomorphic to the functor category of natural transformations from the representable on object b to ex ron f g by Yoneda. But the right con extension of g along f is assumed to be pointwise and thus this set is isomorphic to the functor category of natural transformations from the representable on B to the right con extension of EXG along F. Then by the universal mapping property of the right con extension, we have the following isomorphism. But by two on the right above, we see that this is the same as a set of cones on G pi lower script B with vertex X. Then since each isomorphism is natural in X, we have by the Yoneda embedding the right con extension of g along f enjoys the universal mapping property of the limit of g pi lower script b, which is what we wanted to show, and completes the proof. Then to prove that the pointwise left con extension can be computed as a colimit, we take the dual argument given here. Therefore, a left con extension of g along f is pointwise if and only if lan f g on b is isomorphic to the colimit of g pi upper script b which completes this proof. We then have the following corollary. If E is complete, respectively co-complete, and the category A is essentially small, then the right con extension of G along F, respectively the left con extension of G along F, exists and is pointwise. And the proof is clear from the constructions of the right con extension of G along F and the left con extension of G along F as pointwise limits and co-limits.